is whether or not they're going to add in anybody for DLC. But again, there's more than likely going to be three combat packs because they did three character packs for Injustice 2 and they might do that again for this game. So just keep an eye on the combat packs because who knows, maybe they will actually add in Melina. I don't know. Many months later. I'm not trying to say anything here, but I think I called it. Hey, what's going on, geeks? Max is Mrs. here. Welcome back to a little Mortal Kombat 11 video. More of my reaction to Melina being back in the second combat pack. First of all, I called it. I called it. I called it. I said, hey, keep your eye on the combat pack because they might do something with the next combat pack. And what do they do? What do they do? Second combat pack, Melina's back in the game. Now, I, I did also talk about the fact that I wasn't really sure how I liked that. So, how do I feel about it now that it's actually confirmed? Well, what I was really kind of concerned about was the feeling of Netherrealm sort of bending to the will of all the people harassing them to add Melina back. That was what I was c more concerned about because I, I'm, I'm, it seems like this year has just been the year of people complaining to companies and then companies changing their mind. Like the Sonic movie, for example. Y'all really bullied an entire studio into changing the animation of their movie. I mean, it's understandable, but because the original Sonic design was atrocious, but still. <laughs> That was what I was more concerned about, but I was never truly opposed to Melina herself being re reintroduced. In fact, I kind of wanted it, but I wasn't going to vocalize my opinion on it because of the toxicity surrounding Melina's return. Because you go on any Instagram page related to Mortal Kombat, especially posted by the official Mortal Kombat devs at Netherrealm, and the comment section up until the announcement of Combat Pack 2 was atrocious. I mean, you blink, you look around anywhere, you're gonna see like 50 Melina stands begging for her to come back and not even begging, some of them were just saying, y'all better add Melina back in this game or I'm gonna ask for a refund or something stupid like that. Like, who cares? This game's become one of the best selling games of 2019. Like. They don't care if one person gets a refund because they don't give a character you want. Again, it was their choice whether or not they were going to re-add anybody. Now, I believe they had this all planned out from the start that they were going to add in characters like Melina and, the, and Rain and Rambo for Combat Pack 2. That this was all planned out. That's what I like to think. And that the constant hints that that wasn't going to happen were just trying to throw, up, throw the community off their backs because... Mortal Kombat 11, in particular, has had an atrocious reputation of getting hit over and over again by leaks. Most of which were confirmed to be accurate, and the devs kind of played off of those. But, it seems like every cool new revelation about the game is just being revealed through leaks. Which is cool to see what potentially could be coming down the pike, like potential characters and whatnot. But it kind of ruins the surprise when a combat pack trailer comes out and you already know what's going to be in it. Or the trailer for the next DLC and you already know exactly what to expect. Kind of ruins the surprise, I, in my opinion. But, no matters. I, I was, again, never really opposed to Melina coming back. It was just more of, again... How are they going to handle this? And if everything goes the route I think it is, then tomorrow, or by the time you guys are seeing this video actually, the Molina gameplay trailer should be released here on YouTube. But they've made us, the community, wait a long time for this trailer. It's like even now that Molina is confirmed to be back, they're still making us wait. As in like a final way to try to spite us for whining and complaining for 
goodness, over a year. So, Molina's gonna be the final character revealed. They threw Rain first, then Rambo, and now Molina's coming in last. Personally, again, I've always kind of been a fan of Mortal Kombat trolling in, in terms of Netherrealm, because it's always been a good taste, and it's never really been out of hate towards the community. It wasn't N Netherrealm trying to be rude. I think it's genuinely funny that they're once again making us wait for Melina. It, it's kind of fitting because, hey, yeah, we, can, we confirm Melina's coming back and you will get a gameplay trailer eventually. You're just going to have to wait for it. Although, personally, I was kind of expecting it to come out on Halloween because what normally happened was that the characters would be revealed on Thursdays. But Melina... What Melina's would have been, or could have been, last Thursday, which was the Thursday before Halloween. So I figured, oh, that'd be a perfect time to do the gameplay trailer on Halloween because Melina's a very spooky, brutal character. No. Making us wait again, which honestly is fine. As long as it happens eventually, I'm okay with it. it, it, it nothing compared to waiting for these election results, am I right? But. Politics aside, I don't know where that came from. This has definitely been an interesting season for Mortal Kombat fans. Remember how I was also talking about the response to Robocop? Or rather, the really negative response to him? And how, in my opinion, he turned out to be one of the better guest characters? Yeah, people were really whining and complaining about Rambo. Like, the second the Combat Pack 2 trailer dropped and Rambo was shown at the end, people were like, he really does not fit Mortal Kombat. Why are we adding Rambo? He's stupid. Give us more Molina. We wanted Ermac. Or Ash Williams, whoever the frick he is. Forgive me, I'm uncultured. But Rambo is fine. And it, it does fit the theme of all these guest characters being from 80s action films or comics. Like, we've had Terminator, Robocop, Joker, Spawn. It really fits the theme, especially since Mortal Kombat 11 has always been about going back in time and seeing past versions of either our main combat cast or just 80s related content. So the action here is fit. Not saying that I wouldn't appreciate seeing a character like Michael Myers show up. That'd be kind of cool. Or the Doom Slayer. That'd be really cool. But Rambo fits. If you've seen any of the Rambo films, you'd know that they're pretty brutal. I mean, one of the fatalities, the fatality displayed in the gameplay trailer for Rambo, was a move that Rambo actually did in one of the movies where he tore somebody's throat out. Now again, while this is Mortal Kombat, so they had to kind of up the ante a little bit and threw in like a, a a trap thing to impale the person first. It was still a reference to the movie. So Rambo was was always a graphic series of films. So I think he he really deserved to be in this game. Not to mention the gameplay trailer was absolutely amazing in my opinion. I know I've been really, really optimistic and really positive about a lot of Mortal Kombat related stuff, especially in my review of Aftermath. That was kind of a critique I gave myself, that I was just overly positive about a lot of stuff, but honestly, Netherrealm's done a lot of things right. Of course, there have been some things that they've done wrong. I, I critique the Aftermath story for a lot of really dumb plot holes that really shouldn't have been there. Now, they didn't really make any sense either. It could have been easily fixed or avoided. And then there was the whole Sindel mess, which... Honestly, I'm still kind of mixed on, but we're not really going to go into that. Might actually make a video talking about Sindel's character at some point. If y'all are interested, let me know. But, Combat Pack 2 ha has been just a mashup of just different reactions. Of people being excited to Molina to being whining again because of Rambo's introduction as well as having to wait to see Melina's gameplay trailer. Oh, and let's not forget the fact that it's also going against Netherrealm, Netherrealm's old statement, 
where I mentioned last time that Netherrealm didn't like to re reuse old DLC characters. Although I think I may have mistranslated that, so this is kind of going to be a recap of and a redo of what I said in the last Mortal Kombat video. Where I said that Mortal Kombat doesn't like, or Netherrealm doesn't like reusing guest characters or DLC characters. And that's what I think they meant. They wouldn't reuse guest characters, or we won't be getting the alien for example back we won't be getting alien back we won't be getting predator back we won't be getting any of the other guest characters they had for previous games so no kratos no freddy krueger no characters like that and i feel like i may have misinterpreted it and thusly misinterpreted it and misread it out to y'all when i said because i misunderstood it and took it to believe that the, oh they're not going to reuse dlc characters in general including both the guest and regular mortal kombat cast because they've added in rain for the second combat pack and rain was already a dlc character for mk9 now they already did this a couple times, not for DLC, but for main story, because Kenshi was a DLC character for MK9, but then was put into the base game of MKX. And Scarlet was also a DLC character for MK9, although she did actually play a semi-decent role in the game's story. But reappeared in this game, MK11, as part of the base game as well. So, I feel like I misinterpreted it, where it's not that we're not gonna reuse, we're not gonna reuse any of the guest characters or of the DLC characters. We're just not gonna reuse the guest characters like things licensed from movies or other games again. So, we will still allow things like Rain or other Mortal Kombat characters that we've had in the past. Like, maybe we'll see Kenshi come back. Maybe we'll see... Who knows? Havoc. Although Havoc wasn't done before. Maybe we, maybe we will maybe we will end up seeing the Cyber Ninjas. Who knows? With Melina and, and Rain both back, there's... Honestly... I wouldn't be too surprised. Especially since there's been some leaks. Some supposed leaks from a, again, supposed Netherrealm dev who got really upset for some reason and then leaked that the Cyber Ninja is coming back along with a couple other characters. Again, usually these leaks have been right, but I'm not going to count my chickens on this one because the words former and supposed or former and suppo supposed former, hey, excuse me, in the same sentence are not very reassuring. So take whatever that is with a grain, with a grain of salt. Do, your, do some research on that. I might talk about that in my next Mortal Kombat video. Which, if it isn't out, which next Mortal Kombat video will more than likely be a review of Combat Pack 2 when it comes out and I can actually play as the characters. It will be structured similarly to Aftermath's video. But if I decide to do another one beforehand talking about something like maybe Sindel or... Sindel or maybe even leaks we shall see how that goes but in any case that's my current thoughts on combat pack 2 i'm overall okay with it and it's been kind of revolutionary for mortal kombat where it's clear that my own misconceptions about how they handle dlc characters as well as repolarize the fan base Although, I'm disclaimer, I must say that people's reactions to Rambo have changed for the better since the gameplay trailer came out, but it took them a while to get that into their minds that Rambo was indeed fit for the game. But those are, again, my thoughts on this upcoming DLC. You'll be hearing my review of it in coming weeks because the DLC drops officially on Steam and other platforms on November 17th. So stay tuned for that review. Thanks again, guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, Maxis the Beast is out.